Needs are universal things that we all need and we all share. Needs are abstract, they're universal, they're neither good nor bad, and they're not specific to a location, action, or object. So if I want love, I might choose to get it from my husband and say, give me a kiss, love. Or I can call a friend and say, can you chat to me over a cup of coffee? I just need some deep listening. I could go to Andrew and say, can I come and play with your gold coins? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, the need, I, I might have a need, let's say, for love, but the strategy is the action with which I meet my need, which is the thing that is specific, uh, it has a location, it can be done in the now, and there are 7.3 billion people on Earth that can help to meet my need for love. Like if all of you say no to a hug, I can still go on the street and get a hug. And I can meet my own need. The, the beautiful thing about nonviolent communication is it teaches us that money, and, and you talked about it earlier, is only one strategy to meet human needs. But we get fixated on money. We human beings get fixated on money. <coughs> and sometimes we lack creativity. But when we're stuck in scarcity, we think, oh, I need to earn X, Y, Z in order to do X, Y, Z. Of course, I'm not saying you can live without money. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying money is important and, and it's important to have whatever you choose to feel like that's enough for me. But I'm just saying that as a society, we sometimes get fixated on money as <coughs> like the only strategy to meet needs. Shamash and we go to awaken circles and we get an abundance of community and meals without money. Yet today we've created this workshop. So we've got a space in a very nice part of London. Very lovely person teaching you. <laughs> <laughs> but no money was exchanged. Right? So it's, pos it's possible. 